everyone, it's Amy and welcome back for another Market Monday. Today I have a fabric and fibers kit that you can make lots of different things with. So I was going to try and do a bunch of videos to put up after this to show you things you could make. I just couldn't get around to it. I had this kit put together last week. I got some things made but not on video and so it was just I decided I needed to just come and put it up because really it's something for you to decide what you want to do. I will put a few videos. I'll try and link a few videos in the description box to show you some of the things that I've made here. Um, and you know they're just older videos but still to show you what you can do with some of this. So here we go and the kits are all pretty much the same. They're all in the same colors and everything and same sizes but we have this strip of red and white check and that is, if I just put that there, Oh, that's about 10 inches long. And then we have this strip of purple with little white polka dots. And that's, and these would make great bookmarks or that's about 10 inches long too. Bookmarks or little um, belly bands in your journals or all sorts of things. Then we have this one. That's about a nice journaling card size. So with the pretty yellow blue and white flowers we have this light pink background with the little pink and purple flowers on it and i did not iron them i figured by the time they got there it might get a little squished in the package anyways so and i don't like to iron so i didn't but we have this lovely lime green with the bright pink polka dots and then finally for fabric we have this this would make a nice um journal flip but this mottled blue colors with the different shades of blue, and I don't know if you can see it, but it has silver sparkly in there. So we have those fabrics, and then we have two feet each of lace. We have, that's approximately two inches of white lace, and it's they're two feet long. So then the, um, black and the brown are each not quite an inch so we've got this black and we have it in brown so and I did put these together with things that you could um, then also use in your crafting so for this lace um, I put it together with a pretty gold pin And then we have some thread. Um, this is crochet thread. So we have the variegated and the white. And um, I put that on a cute little clothespin. Those are really cute to make little dolls with little fabric dolls. So and then we have some elastic. So the elastic is three feet of each of the elastics. I have three elastics here. This one is a very thin black elastic. And I put it so that it didn't get too messed up in the package. I just put it in a little recycled cellophane bag. So the little bags are different, but the amount of elastic is the same. So we've got the black elastic. I'm going to try and fold this back up again so it doesn't get all messy. Because it's lace, it wants to catch on each other. Just... That's better. And we have our elastic. And then we have um, all of the lace is two feet of lace. So we have this pretty pink. Now I put these on paper clips so that you could make like fabric paper clips. Um, when you take the paper clip off because it's lace, don't pull it off like that. Just open it up like this. So, and so this, we have this pretty pink lace. along with a little paper clip and then you can just go ahead and bend those right back down to how they were to use them in another project. So we've got the blue lace which looks like this has that pattern to it. And again these are all put together with paper clips for you. So we have the green lace 
which has the pattern like the white and the black. So that looks like that. And I kind of tried to do pretty much rainbow colors here. So like I didn't have any red lace, so I went ahead and put in pink. But so I wanted to make sure that you had a variety of colors of lace. So then we have the purple with the same pattern as the green. And again, there's two feet of each of these. And we have the yellow, which is the double wide. like that. So now with the double wide lace, I like to take it and fold it not quite in half so that it's offset like this. And then you just do a running stitch down the flat side. And I'll show you how those, and it makes a really pretty flower, which looks like this. So you've got the layers because you went ahead and you folded that one side a little shorter than the other. And then you just do a running stitch down the straight side, pull it together, and you have a beautiful little flower. So, and um, then we also have some little, oops, we have a little thin orange lace here. Let's open this up so you can see what the pattern on that is. If I can find the end. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't have an end, right? There it is. So we have this pretty orange lace. And I tried to get a little bit of different sizes too, different widths. So that way you've got different things, um, you know, for whatever project you want. So that is all of the laces. Then we have like for your flower centers or to put on, well, here, I'll show you this first. Um, let's go through this lace or elastic. Again, there's three feet of the elastic. So you could use this as like a, um, a, a closure around a book. It's nice because it's elastic. I love to use really wide elastic like this to make bracelets. So this is the thinner elastic and this one is uh, one and three quarters. And there's three feet of that. And then we have this one. There's three feet of this one. And that one is three inches. And you also could use that as a bracelet. I really do like the wider ones even better. And here is one that I just put together a little bit. So I just put some buttons on it, um, use some of the embroidery floss to make some French knots, a little piece of doily with another one of the buttons. And we've got some of the charms on here. And then where I sewed it together, I just sewed it together with a piece of ribbon and then sewed that down so it looked pretty that way. Put some of the charms on there. And so I just really like these. Now normally I've got it on upside down because that should hang down towards your hand because usually that's the way you have them. But I also like to take some thread in just regular thread, your crochet thread or whatever, and put it on here and put a couple of beads on it with a charm at the end and then come back up through the beads and knot it right there so that you have little danglies hanging down on your hand. I really like to do it that way. So, and then, so things you could put on here or put in the center of your flowers. We've got these little bits here. And so these are... There's a couple of little clear ones, a red, what Papa used to call horse eyes. And there's a little bow, a couple of those, a butterfly in pink, a square, some of these diamond shaped ones in different colors, another butterfly that is a bead. So that one could, actually that could hang with this one because it's orange. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's a dozen little bits, and these have holes that you can sew on. And does that one? I can't tell. This one has holes in it, so you could sew that on. These have holes. So the butterfly is a bead, and then the these little ones here are flat backs, so they can be glued onto something. So there's a dozen little sparkly bits.
and we have a couple of needle pullers. These are little rubber, so if your needle gets stuck in your fabric and you're having a hard time pulling it out, um, you just put this on the needle and it pulls it right through. And it, they really work really well. So there's a couple little needle pullers. I should stick those in one of the bags. I'll put it in with the charms. And then we have some charms, and these are all the same in each kit. So we have a little hammer, or I mean an axe, a little angel, a feather, a flower, a running horse, a little angel, like a cherub. This one here, these are silver, um, Tibetan silver. This is um, plastic. So, or acrylic, whatever you want to call it. But that one is not actual um, metal. But the others are all metal. And then we have a butterfly that hangs from the loop here. And for fun, we have a little high heel shoe. Three, four, five, six. So there's eight little charms in there. I'm going to put the needle pullers in that bag. So we have those, and we have some buttons. The buttons are not all exactly the same, but they are approximately the same in size and color. So, um, you know, I went through and picked out like a larger blue button for each kit and that type of thing. So you're going to have this variety, but they won't be exactly the same buttons because I did not have that many um, all of the same buttons. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are fourteen buttons in the kit. And so this is just a little bit of everything so that you can like try different things and find out if you like if you like using these items or not without going out and buying a whole bunch. Of course, who doesn't like buttons? Everybody likes buttons. And again, I did try and do like a rainbow of colors in there. So there's a red, an orange, a yellow, a green, a blue, and a purple in there. So then there are some fabric circles that have been cut out. So they all have, whoops. So we've got this one and this one, this one, this one this one, and this one. I think was at six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, so there's a half a dozen of the smaller circles. And with the smaller circles, you can make, they make cute little fabric clusters too, but you can make a yo-yo um, of this size. And so, and so I'll try and remember, because I have videos on how to make the yo-yo flowers. And then there's one, two, three, four, five. So there are five of the larger ones. And the larger ones will make a yo-yo flower of this size. So between the two circles, you can make these two sizes of yo-yo flowers. And they look really cute, like layered up with your little lace flowers. But also in the center of the lace flowers, or even center of these, you could put buttons or the little blingy things. So we have those. And then we have some fibers. So we have this um, like eyelash fiber in peach. We have this yarn with little pom-poms on it. And I don't know, oh, it's, it says, yep, there's five yards of each of the yarns here. So the only thing I didn't measure was the strings. So, cause I just went around quite a lot of times. So that we have these two in the yarns. And then we have this blue with a little bit of different color blues and a little bit of a silver maybe or white um, shiny bit. Then we have the white with little gray or um, silver flecks in it. 
And then we have this green one. I love this one. This one is a really thick, bumpy yarn. So with the yarns, there's five yards of each one of those colors. Then we have two crochet threads, one in a peach and one in a kind of tan color. The tan is what I used here for the little things, and those are full, um, whatever you call those things. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have 12 inches of ribbon. And so we have the different colors. We have a red thin, an orange organza, a yellow thin one, the green is organza, and a little thicker. The blue is a little thicker than the red and the yellow, and the purple is also. So there are those rainbow colors in the ribbon, and again, they're pinned together with a cute little um, gold pin. So remember, use those pins and those paper clips because they'll really give you, you know, cute little projects. Then we have some little um, squares to make, to use as a foundation. They're about one and three quarters. Yep, they're approximately one and three quarters by one and three quarters. So there's a half a dozen of those. And then we have a piece of muslin. I think that's what you call it. And that is about 10, approximately 10 by 12. And then we have just a bit of the edging of a lace tablecloth. And we have a nice sized piece of the lace. And so that's also very pretty. Now, I don't see it here. But this little um, doily here, oh, here it is. It got stuck to the other, I was going to say. I cut that out smaller, but that came from this doily here. So you get this square doily. I used it on my um, bracelet, and I just cut out the flower part here. So I still have this outside edge part to use, which will be really cute to use like for a frame or something. So you also have that little bit. I thought I had that there. It was kind of gave me a bit of a heart attack <laughs> trying to figure out where it went. So that is this kit. And if you are interested, the kit is $20 plus or not plus. So I wanted to show you here is one of the little inchies that I just made a little cluster on. So I can either put this one on a pin or a paper clip um, and it's made to hang on a a diamond shape but um and it has one of the little charms on it a little bit of the lace and so we have that and I wanted to show you that the fibers are all wrapped on um I call them bookmarks so it's a really nice heavy piece of chipboard um they were they're like samples of I'm not even sure what wallpaper or something um but I want to show you that they have texture to them so um, the three of them are all different. One of them is actually kind of a suede all on its own, but they all have embossing on them that you can highlight. I don't know that I'd highlight the suede one. I think I would, and then cover the back and they're really nice for bookmarks. They've already got the hole and everything. So that is the kit for today. If you are interested, again, it's $20. That includes the shipping. And um, just email me. My email address will be below and let me know that you want one. Once I let you know that I do have one left, um, please pay promptly so that um, I can, I know how many I have left. And um, thank you very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope that you have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.